आज विश्व भर में जैन धर्म को जानने की चाह बढ़ रही है दुनिया के अलग अलग कोनों से लोग जो अहिंसा आध्यात्म और नैतिक मूल्यों में रुचि रखते हैं वो जैन धर्म की ओर नजरें कर रहे हैं पश्चिम के देशों में भारतीय धार्मिक और दार्शनिक परंपरा का अध्ययन तो कई दशकों से चलता आ रहा है पर हाल में कुछ सालों से इन देशों में जैन धर्म में विशेष रुचि दिखाई जा रही है जिसके परिणाम स्वरूप हम आज विदेश के कुछ शैक्षणिक संस्थानों में जैन धर्म के अध्ययन के लिए अलग से डिपार्टमेंट और चेयर्स देखते हैं आज जैन टॉक्स के एक सौ सेशन में मैं नील आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूं। आज की चर्चा के लिए हमारे साथ डॉक्टर जशवंत मोदी जी जुड़े हैं जो कि लॉस एंजलिस कैलिफोर्निया से है जो न केवल हमें अमेरिका में जैन एकेडमिक एजुकेशन के बारे में बताए गए बल्कि साथ ही साथ विज्ञानिज्म और ह्यूमैनिटेरियन फिलेंथ्रोफी पर भी चर्चा करेंगे आपका हार्दिक स्वागत है डॉक्टर जशवंत मोदी हमारे दर्शकों के लिए डॉक्टर जशवंत मोदी का एक छोटा सा परिचय मिस्टर जशवंत मोदी इज अ फिलेंथ्रोपिस्ट एंड रिटायर्ड गेस्ट्रो एंटेरोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम लॉस एंजलिस कैलिफोर्निया आफ्टर फिनिशिंग हिज मेडिकल स्टडीज इन अहमदाबाद he came to the united states in the 1970s to pursue his dreams and pay off all his family's debts despite his relocation to america he never forgot his roots the jain principles of ahimsa aparigraha and anekantvad guided him throughout his life his goal is to establish jainism as a well known faith within the mainstream of religions almost all of his charitable contributions go towards promoting jainism in american universities mr modi is a president of the jain center of southern california as well as a member of the board of directors and vice president of the jain centers of los angeles he is the co president of akshay patra and the vice president of jaina regional centers he is also a member of jaina's academic liaison committee as a philanthropist he supports numerous reputable institutions including ekal vidyalay jaipur fort pratham sahar and sankara i foundation among others his mission is to spread jainism throughout the world furthermore he is committed to environmental protection by advocating veganism and green ecology in accordance uh, to mahavir's live and let live philosophy i welcome him from bottom of my heart to the jain talks platform and request him to start today's session jai jinendra neil my friends thank you very much for kind introduction may i have the slide please today's talk will consist of three different topics the first talk would be on a academic education what is perpetual atma gyan knowledge is eternal the only interesting quality of the soul next only attribute of the soul is gyan shruta gyan knowledge obtained through the signs symbols words hearing from the wise and reading the scriptures this is also known as a indirect knowledge because the soul requires this knowledge via words scriptures etc next why academic institution knowledge to be accessible for perpetuity or everlasting time investing with the academic institution with the emphasis of jain education 
can help Jainism to be recognized as a compassionate religion with the world's comparative religious study. As a Shravak, it is our duty to help spread our Tirthankar's message where our sadhu and sadhvis cannot reach. Academic institution is temples of knowledge. Next. Until 17 years ago, Jainism was the least known and the most misunderstood religion even in academia. Hardly any presence of the Jainism in academia in North America. Jainism was mentioned as a footnote tradition or just in periphery of a non-violence discussion. Then the journey started. Next, several visionary philanthropists in USA committed with the time, stewardship and the Lakshmi to support this noble cause of bringing the Jain studies in academia. Next. Our journey in last 15 years, we have laid out a good foundation and created a good infrastructure. Through the International School of Jain Studies, now we have had several scholars trained in Jainism and are available to teach. Now several academic institutions are willing to talk to us. We still have a long way to go and it needs a lot of catching up. Our journey has just begun. Next. Current affiliation. In California, especially Los Angeles area, is becoming a hub like an Oxford or a Cambridge of Jainism. Soon this concentration of the academic scholars in this area most probably will be the largest in the Jain world anywhere. We want to spread these flames to the other areas as well. Next. Where are we now in academic institutions? We have a Jainism presence at more than 30 universities. Several more universities are under our serious consideration. In addition, several other support programs are being funded and implemented. Next. What's an endowment? Endowment is a fund invested and its interest income is spent for a given purpose and the principal is never spent. Principal funds remains invested in perpetuity and this arrangement goes in perpetuity. So once a endowed chair or a professorship is established, it will go on for generations spreading the word of Jainism. Next. In the US, Academic institutions have several hierarchies and the layers of uh, recognition. At the top level is a center. Any center that is established, it carries out its mission to spread for long period of the time in perpetuity. We are happen to have here in Los Angeles area at the institution of Cal Poly Pomona. We have now an Ahinsa Center, which was started by several visionaries and it is shepherded by Dr. Tara Satya. Last 20 years, this center has done an excellent work and now this center is an endowed center with a $1.5 million donation and it will go on forever. It is named on our 16th Tirthankar Bhagwan Shantinath Ahimsa Center and it has a Bhagwan Shantinath endowed chair as well. 
The center is focused on the interdisciplinary teaching and as Ahinsa connotes reverence for all life, it is non-violence rooted in courage and compassion, fearlessness and forgiveness. Next. After the center, we have an endowed chair versus a professorship. What's an endowed chair? It's a more prestigious position and it involves research and writing papers, nurturing graduate and a PhD candidates. An endowed professorship involves mostly teaching at an undergraduate level and some at graduate level. Next. Lectureship, it mostly involves teaching undergrad students and some graduate students. Postdoctoral fellowship, once a candidate finishes a PhD, the postdoctoral fellowship gives them an opportunity to do more research, maybe writing books, and they teach some courses at the undergrad levels as well. Next. Current endowed chairs in the US. We have most of the chairs and the professorship that we have established, it is in the name of our Tirthankas. We have Bhagwan Anantanath endowed chair at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. We have endowed chair of Jain Studies at the Ghent University in Belgium. I want to make a note that the Ghent University is promoting the study of Jainism on its own for many years and they have trained many PhD candidates in Jainism. We have a Bhagwan Vimalnath endowed chair at the University of California at Santa Barbara. We have Bhagwan Subhidinath chair at the Cal State University in Long Beach. Shri Parashnath endowed chair at University of California at Irvine. We have Sumadraj Chandra chair at University of California at Riverside. We have now a Mohini Jain chair at UC Davis. And we have also Jain and Hindu combined chair at the Fresno State University here in California. We have Bhagwan Santinath endowed chair at the Cal Poly Pomona and a Bhagwan Neminath chair at the University of Connecticut. Next. How many endowed professorship we have? Bhagwan Adinath professorship at University of North Texas at Denton. Bhagwan Suparswanath endowed professorship at University of Colorado, Denver. Bhagwan Padma Prabhu University, Bhagwan Padma Prabhu endowed professorship at University of South Florida in Tampa, Florida. We have Bhagwan Mallinath endowed professorship at Loyola Marymount University here in Los Angeles. Bhagwan Mahavir endowed professorship at Florida International University. We have Bhagwan Ajit Nath endowed professorship at Cal State Northridge. We have Bhagwan Kuntu Nath endowed thought leadership at Saritos Community College here in California. And we have Bhagwan Muni Subrat Swami endowed professorship at University of Illinois in Urbana Champaign. Next. Lectureship. We have Bhagwan Vimalnath Lectureship at UC Santa Barbara, Bhagwan Shantinath Lectureship at Cal State Fullerton, Bhagwan Abhinandan Lectureship at UCLA here in Los Angeles, and we have a Jain Lectureship at University of Chicago. Please note that all these universities, very prestigious all over the world, and that will help spread the word of Jainism very well. Next.
may I have the next slide, please? We had a postdoctoral fellowship. We have Bhagwan Vasupujya Swami postdoctoral fellowship at University of Pittsburgh. We have Bhagwan Mahavir postdoctoral fellowship at the Rice University, and Alka Dalal postdoctoral fellowship at the Rutgers University in New Jersey. Bhagwan Shital Nath fellowship at University of Toronto in Canada. Bhagwan Chandra Prabhu postdoctoral fellowship at Willamette University in Salem, Oregon in conjunction with the Claremont School of Theology in Claremont here in LA area. Bhagwan Arunath postdoctoral fellowship at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. We have a doctoral program training of the PhD students at UC Riverside. We also have a graduate fellowship in a Jain studies at FIU. Next. Jain study activities involves many other programs as well. We have established Bhagwan Mahavir scholarship to study Prakrit and every year we are sending two to three students to India to study Prakrit for almost nine months at various institution. We have summer school of study for Jainism for three to six weeks in the summertime at ISJS. We also have a winter school to study Jainism uh, through ISJS. We have Jain speaker series established at Long Island University in New York by Professor Sailendra Palvia. We have a Jain lecture at University of Toronto, Lal Rupalal. Next. We have other programs. Bhagwan Shantinath lectureship at Cal State Fullerton. Bhagwan Vimalnath lectureship at UC Santa Barbara. Claremont School of Theology program. Emory University has a separate program in the Department of Religious Study and a Bhagwan Mahavir full year scholarship study of Prakrit here and in India. Next. As we can see, currently we have more than 12 students doing PhD in Jainism at a various university here in the US. And you can see it's all over the map of United States. Next. We have many additional program to support Jain education. We have an academic seminars at Jaina convention. We participate in a religious convention here in the US, Denam and AAR. Donation of the Jain books to the university libraries. Dialogue on science and Jainism and a symposium that was held at MIT on a Jain mathematics, hosting Jain students to the Jain temples, support of the theme conferences. We have now published more than 50 books by various Jain scholars here in US. We give travel grants to scholars to travel to India most recently, we will have a students from Brazil going to India to study Jainism for six weeks. Next. The programs plan and done. We are the first annual Jain academic convention in October of 24th, and that was a great success. In 2021, we had a summer school on Jainism for our youths in North America. Online course offering at Loyola Marymount University. And we have planned now a two-day conference at Cal State Fullerton and a three-day conference at the Claremont School of Theology, courtesy to the grant of an Oberoi Foundation. Next. 
what are our needs. We must effectively share our activities, progress, and the needs with the Jain community at large through Jaina and the Jain centers. Jain community is well established, affluent, allowing us to educate them to join this noble cause. In North America, we need to promote the establishment of more chairs in the name of Tirthankars to complete the Chauvisi. Next. Attention. There seems to be a widespread misconception that the Jainism is an offshoot or a branch of Hinduism. Please insist it is not. It's an independent religion. Existence for millennia. When creating a program, emphasize that it is about the teaching, study, and the research of Jainism. Next. How else should we support the Jain studies? In addition to the endowment of the funds, also provide and donate many high quality books on Jainism. Art, agams, painting, artifacts, multimedia, annual fellowship to study Prakrit, Sanskrit, Hindi, Gujarati, and at ISJS in India. In terms of the art, there is a first Jain scripture and art exhibition plan in Switzerland in December of this year uh, at the Museum of Rutenberg. Next. What is a must to sustain? We need to educate and train our own Jain scholars to apply and occupy some of these academic positions. Teaching and training in Prakrit and Sanskrit, language of our Jain source of Agams, it is must. Those who cannot go to ISJS in India, let us create an ISJS USA now to be held here at Jain Center of Southern California, since Los Angeles area has now more than 10 endowed chairs and professorship. Develop a lot of high quality material and upload on Wikipedia and Jainpedia. Next. Universities under consideration. Currently we are talking to a Jain study program at the UC Berkeley. We are talking to the University of Florida at Gainesville officials. University of Virginia at Virginia. Duke University in North Carolina. Case Western University in Cleveland. Tubingen University in Germany. Please note that the Tubingen University, we have Professor Claire Mays teaching Jainism over there. Tubingen is the city that is spreading the veganism and the vegetarian the most in Europe. We are talking to University of Birmingham officials in UK, Georgia State University in Georgia. We are also speaking to the Banaras Hindu University officials as right now to establish a Jain program. And we also met with the Nalanda University officials just last week. We are speaking to the Hebrew University people in Israel to establish an endowed Jain chair program. Next. The Jain education involves many facets. It involves a Jain education in Patsala as we are doing it. We should have a Jain education at the elementary school, high school, 
undergrad level, graduate, PhD. We should also need to have a Jain education promotion as established by Shrut Ratnaka Trust USA and Shrut Ratnaka Trust in India under the leadership of Dr. Dilip Baisha and Jayan Kendra, a research center complex in the pursuit of an advanced Jain education for scholars, sadhus, and sadhvis coming up in Gujarat near our Mahatirth Sankheshwar. Next, <clears throat> we have still a lot of work to do. Our goal is to establish 24 Tirthankar's name in a Jain study program at various academic institution. Please help us in every way that you can. Next. Next. After the academic education, uh, my next center of the talk is going to be veganism, a Jain veganism. May I have the slides, please? Jain veganism. An academic education and a Jain veganism quite a few times goes hand in hand. A very clear example. We have a Bhagwan Mallinath endowed professorship at Loyola Marymount University, which is currently held by Professor Christopher Miller. And under the program of Jain study at Loyola Marymount University, now we have many students becoming vegetarian, vegan, and as we speak now, the entire campus at Loyola Marymount University, there is a petition pending to make it a default based plant-based food given. Veganism consists of, next slide please. Veganism addresses several issues. One is Ahinsa. If Jainism doesn't define veganism, veganism will define Jainism. Please keep this in mind. Next, Bhagwan Mahavi's message in Acharanga Sutra is clear. All breathing, existing, living, sentient creatures should not be slain nor violently treated, abused, nor tormented or driven away. The central philosophy of Jainism and the veganism is not only similar, but is complementary. Hinsa creates many karmas, and as per karma theory in the Tattvartha Sutra, an authoritative diasporic Jain text, we need to follow Ahinsa in every aspect of our life. Next. Veganism addresses also over and above Ahinsa. It gives you the benefits of a healthy body and a healthy mind. Going vegan means living longer, healthier, and happier. Incidents of many diseases that are prevalent, including diabetes, high blood pressure, lupus, multiple sclerosis, allergy, they are much lower or it disappears. Next. Veganism also addresses another important issue of our time. Global warming is not a phenomenon, but it is happening right now. New York Times recently ran an interactive beautiful article indicating 
there are 160 countries on the planet that has suffered a major climate related disaster. Animal agriculture involves violence and it adds to the climate change and the global warming. Methane is 28 times more powerful at catching heat than carbon. Going vegan means living longer, healthier, and happier. In the US currently, we have many organizations promoting veganism. We have an eco-vegan committee of Jaina. We have Jain vegans in the USA. Stanford University just established a first school of sustainability. It is the first of its kind in the world, to my knowledge, which will address the issue mainly of a climate change. Next. Our Keval Gnani Tirthankas have already told us millennials ago, all life is bound together by mutual support and interdependence. Parasparo Pragraho Jivanam. Next. Many of our leaders you see and recognize here that we revere they support Jain veganism. It is now our time has come that the Jains, all Jains are vegetarian, but now we need to embrace veganism because of multiple issues that we can solve. Next. Become a Jain vegan and give Avaidan. A true Jain's virtue is engraved in the stone and this is centuries ago depicted. Next. Avaidan requires no monetary funds but gains ultimate punya in return. Next, my next few minutes of talk would be on altruism. We Jains help in many different aspects of the society and humanitarian causes as well. May I have the next slide? Altruism. Next. Selfless philanthropy. In our Jain scriptures, these are all mentioned. Ahardan, which is donation of the food. Ashaddan, donation of the medicine, Gyandan, Sasan Prabhavana, Abhaydan, protection from the fear. Next. With friends and some visionaries from here in LA, we established a food kitchen in Panwell, Mumbai. We also supported the transport vehicle for the food in Ahmedabad and Vadodara through an Akshay Patra institution. Next. During the pandemic, Jain community were involved in many humanitarian efforts. We provided a food pantry here in Los Angeles, many other cities in US and also in India we supported the distribution of the mask, vaccines, oxygen concentrators to various hospitals in India, oxygen plants. We did the Sadharmik Bhakti and we raised more than one and a half million dollars distributed to
to India and here direct financial assistance these are all the basic principles of our Jainism next through the Vayavaj committee of Jaina we are involved in supporting the Vihardam for our sadhu sadhvis and monks in India we have completed the Vihardam at Sarkej as you can see the constructions uh, going on and I believe that it is complete uh, Vihardam at Karambela has been complete and Vihardam at Paroli will start pretty soon and there has been many other Vihardams has been supported by the Vayavaj committee of Jaina next education in every form is very important because without education we Jains and the society cannot progress I studied at the Mahavijan Vidyala in Ahmedabad without the support of Mahavijan Vidyala I wouldn't be today in my life where I am today Mahavijan Vidyala is supported in nurturing the Jain, Jain principles, Jain education supported my lodging, boarding, scholarship, financial help. If I can help, uh, we all should help our mother institution. Uh, we have been involved in supporting the boys hostel in Baroda and pretty soon they will start construction of the girls hostel in Surat. Next. Continue fueling the lamp for Jain education. Share Jain virtues, gain down. Till the lamp stays lit, there is a hope for a peace. Next. Support for many other causes. Women shelters to Sahara, animal shelter, through Panjara poles, Lavin farms. Every disaster relief, the Jain community has been involved in raising the funds and distributing, no matter where it may be, whether it's in Philippines, it's in Africa, it's in Haiti. We support the education in Ekal Vidyala, Pratham. Digital learning through the Pratham is going very fast, and one of our visionary from LA area, Manubai Sa, has been supporting at a great length. Sankara Eye Foundation is providing the help for the eye. We provided the blood bank machines, Jaipur leg and Jaipur foot. We are supporting. These are all basic Jain causes, Jain beliefs, and all over the world Jain community in India, Middle East, Europe, and in the U.S. is involved. We should take the leadership now and establish more and more academic centers, not just in the U.S., but in Europe and all other continents. Thank you very much for your time and listening. Being born as a Jain is a rare privilege. Charity begins at home, then community, village, country, and Vishwabharati. Continue giving with your mind and soul, helping get rid of your antrai karma. Jai Jinendra, and thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mori ji, for uh, the enlightening talk. Indeed, all of us uh, had a wonderful time listening to you. You covered three different topics and that too very well. Uh, Jain academic education in USA. You covered all the information, detailed information, and I'm sure 
all the viewers must have gained a lot of information regarding that and your insights on veganism and the work you are doing in the philanthropic activities they are really uh, we appreciate and uh, thank you so much for sparing your valuable time for the jain talks platform now i would like to keep this platform open for all our viewers if anybody wants to ask any question to dr modi ji you can raise your hand and you can directly ask for 2 to 5 minutes we will keep this platform open if anybody wants to ask any question you can raise your hand and ask dr modi ji directly so dr modi ji uh, we have one question uh, directly came in the chat box that while practicing jainism uh, in usa what all challenges do you face the practicing jainism in usa it faces quite a few challenges um one of the challenge that majority of us face on a day to day area would be food uh at many places as we go we are not able to find uh a vegetarian or i would say vegan food even though options are there it is available more and more but number of the places we still have problems so the food is one of the problem it is changing it is changing fast but for an example we work in the hospitals we do get some vegetarian items but by and large it becomes a problem i mean all in the long term healthcare industry and in a long term healthcare industry it's the same problem so the more knowledge more education we have is very important because many of us if you ask a, a american and they say you become vegetarian or vegan the first question they're going to ask Oh, where are you going to find the protein? Where are you going to get the calcium? I mean, I think there is a misconception. They feel that if you are a vegetarian, you are just not able to get protein or vitamins or calcium. I believe there is a plenty of protein and calcium and vitamin D in vegetables and vegetarian food. Uh, so, I think those are the kind of issues that we face. on a daily basis and it can be addressed through education thank you yeah thank you so much for your answer uh, we have pradeep shah he wants to ask uh, some question pradeep ji you can unmute and ask the question pradeep okay. ji please unmute thank you nirmal i have been following dr jaspan bhai modi for last several years and i have such immense respect for him uh, he is a pioneer in uh, establishing and propagating jainism in the united states and actually all over the world and his latest attempt is working with uh, dr jitendra bhai shah he referred to the shrut ratnakar and jitendra bhai shah is the pioneer for shrut ratnakar and uh, we are blessed to jaspan bhai also promote should ratnakar adhyan kendra and that is going to be ready in less than 2 years uh, so i think I, i don't have a question for justin but i just want to let everybody know that now right now you're looking at a great proponent of jainism in the united states and all over the world he puts his money where his mouth is uh, and he puts his energy there he, i think he works 24 hours a day on this So I just wanted to let everybody know that. Thank you. Thank you, Pradeep Bhai, for your call. Uh, thank you so much, Pradeep Ji, for letting us know this, and we have a great respect for Dr. Jaswant Modi Ji, who is doing great work, and definitely Jain Foundation will also take advice from him uh, how to go further in the field of Jain education uh, 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 from online platform. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Doctor uh, Yogesh Shah, you can ask the question. 
योगेशा यू कैन अनम्यूट या जय जय जितेंद्र एवरीवन प्रणाम आई एम योगेशा एंड आई एम करंटली प्रेसिडेंट एट जैन सेंटर ऑफ सदर्न कैलिफोर्निया वेयर जसवंत बे इज आवर पायनियर मेंबर एंड इज वन ऑफ आवर बिग पिलर एंड because of him when he was a president of our jain center he made our center vegan completely vegan all the programs that we do any food that we serve is all vegan since then and we are continuing the tradition and we are pushing for veganism wherever we can and i am so proud of him in that sense that he practice what he preach that's what i'm trying to tell everyone and when we started the first chair and he it gets into his heart that this is the way we can have our jainism on the mainstream and we can waken up the world so we have this education humanitarian sadharmik and all that seva is happening through our jain center of southern california and we are proud of members like him manu bhai and rika ben shah and harshad bhai raksha ben pradeep bhai shah and all those kind of big uh, supporters of these programs and I- i'm telling you if this happens to all other centers and if it goes to jaina jaina can convince everyone and if it becomes all the centers like getting involved and making it happen that will be the day we are dreaming of and we are hoping it will happen jay jindra and we again thank you jason bhai for beautiful speech and explaining everything on all these three criteria so bow down to you and we work together we will continue to work together as long as god allows us to do it thank you uh thank you so much uh, yogesh shah ji it's great to know that uh, your uh, southern california jain center has turned to uh, veganism uh, here there is one question that why veganism is so controversial topic when we talk about uh, talk uh, from jains in india uh, from their perspective means it is not perceived the way you have explained in india still what's the issue what's the problem why people are not able to understand um i believe that uh people i believe people do understand it but we have a age old tradition or a custom or the way that we are raised uh that is difficult to get rid of our habits may even here in the us many times when i speak to uh many of our first generation people difficult to change to veganism compared to the second generation so the first generation whenever i speak to is so, well, what about the tea i i cannot get rid of the tea because we are always in the morning getting up drinking the tea with the regular milk so i think that we do understand it is just change comes difficult it is hard and it takes time but i believe it will happen with education and a lot of other points that i uh pointed it out i give you my own example i became vegan almost about 8 9 years ago and since then my my health has improved quite a bit uh i had a lot of allergy that has subsided or is very much manageable uh, blood sugar is under control blood pressure is much better so it gives you health now climate change as i said every country in the world is suffering from the climate disaster so i believe we all have work to do and all jains will become vegan as i said if jainism doesn't define veganism 
veganism is going to define Jainism in next decades. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jashwan ji. Uh, we have a couple of more questions. So I would like to take uh, uh, how much ever questions we can take. I would like to... Um, Manuji Shah, you can unmute. Good morning, Jashwan Bhai. Fantastic uh, what you presented. Uh, we are very proud of you. And I have one simple question. And I'd like to support answer to that question is what it will take to make all North American Jain institution vegan. Okay. Whatever you do, I'm going to support you. Thank you. Thank you, Manubai. Uh, in this journey, we are together and we will, we are talking to many places, many centers, especially Jaina. There is some resistance at Jaina leadership, but if we are able to convince Jaina leadership and make Jaina vegan, I believe the things will become a little easier and we will all work together we just need uh, our leadership here in the U.S., a Jaina leadership to, they, they understand, they agree, but I think there is a popular kind of uh, uh, resistance uh, and we are trying to overcome that by education and convincing as much as we can. I think the journey has started and it, it will happen, Manubai. Thank you for your uh, support. I, I like to add, not from Jain principle, only veganism. The biggest problem we have is a diabetes among all Indian, particularly India and what we measured here at Jain Center in USA. 42% had either pre-diabetic or diabetic. That's too high. And it comes to the only one reason a central reason is dairy products. Get it out of our daily need. After age three to five, you don't need any dairy products. And please get this wellness part. Get rid of diabetes by just doing, becoming a vegan it will be a very big news. And just one by. I will support whichever way, whatever lead you take. Thank you. Thank you, Manubai, for your support. Uh, thank you. Uh, Ashish Jain, you can ask the question. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. It's a definitely a very wonderful lecture and uh, lots of uh, insight. Uh, probably, I think everyone on this call, like they, they know about the benefit of veganism, uh, not its direct or indirect ahimsa is related to. Uh, moving forward, my suggestion would be like I also trying in Jan Vishwa Bhakti, New Jersey also, we start introducing some vegan dishes in our cultural programs. And uh, I think inspiring our more younger generation who are still in the school, it goes long away for them to think about it and adopt veganism and not just uh, people at our age. Uh, so that's something we should keep in mind, like how we can introduce as part of our curriculum or in Gyan Shalas or any, any kids oriented sessions where they can think and decide themselves how to be vegan. Uh, obviously they're from Jain family, they're only vegetarian. So it will be much easier for them to remain vegan and inspire everybody, all the kids around them and make the world more vegan. Uh, that's one thing I think about it. Uh, another thing is like, I just joined the WhatsApp group and uh, shared in the, uh, in the chat. Probably we should start also sharing some uh, simple recipes and uh, be make it more practical. Don't just talk about veganism, but let's start uh, pledging one or twice in a week, at least make one vegan dish or one time food should be vegan in your home and let's start taking small steps. And uh, hopefully 
uh, if you like it, and I'm assuming we will like it, uh, it will start doing it. It's not a single flip switch, you become vegan overnight, but let's start taking small steps. And uh, the food is a main key, which everybody like the taste of the uh, taste of your tongue, you have to adapt to it slowly. Like whether it's a chai or tea or coffee or whether it's uh, any 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 dinner or lunch you're making for yourself. So that's my request. Like in the in the WhatsApp group, can we start sharing some recipes also or share your tips also? So that let's be more practical. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ashish. I think those are the good suggestions. Uh, we should all collectively start doing whichever way we can. I want to make one official correction. Uh, Shrut Ratnaka Trust, it is established under the leadership of Dr. Jitendra Shah from Ahmedabad. I think during my talk, I mispronounced his name. Uh, so I just want to make sure that it is Dr. Jitendra Shah who has been uh, this idea. He is carrying out the great efforts and we will have a Adhyayan Kendra established in about another year, two years, and that would be a great place for a Jain education. Thank you. Yeah, uh, so much. Uh, I would like to take one or two more questions. We are running. So, in my Hello. <coughs> yes, uh, I think we see uh, three hands. G, you can ask. Hello, may I ask a question? Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you very much uh, for the nice uh, talk, uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Jason Bai. Uh, I'm Dr. Ashisha here. Uh, I'm an associate professor at Department of Pharmacy, Sumandi Vidyapit Badoda. Uh, sir, my question is uh, related to, as I'm uh, basically a research person, so I just want to know some uh, more things that uh, you have mentioned regarding uh, endowed chairship, uh, lecturership, and uh, professorship, right? So uh, if uh, any one person from the India, if, we, if he or she wants to obtain that, uh, uh, maybe endowed chairship, lecturership, or professorship, uh, in your university. So what will be the criteria or what the uh, one needs to do for that? Uh, can you bring some more information on that? Uh, can you highlight? Uh, every university, uh, when they establish a position, endowed chair or endowed uh, professorship, whatever it may be, they usually okay. advertise the position, mostly in October, November, December timeframe. They invite applications, they invite the interview probably in January, February, and March, April, they do the selection. So uh, anybody who has an invest, uh, interest, they can apply to these positions. And uh, if uh, anybody who has an interest, let us know. We would also usually let community know that a position is being advertised at Northridge University or um, uh, University of Pittsburgh. So people who might overlook the advertisement, they would look into that, apply, and then the university has its own criteria uh, to select the candidate, but it is open to the candidates from all over the world. Okay. And I can give you some more information uh, uh, for that. Uh, please let me know, uh, send me via email questions and anything and i'll be in touch with you thank you oh, okay okay thank you sir sir one more thing is that if uh, i'm a phd in pharmacy suppose i want to pursue uh post doctoral in case of uh, jainism uh, basically especially on based on research study so is there any scope there to pursue a postdoctoral fellowship or anything yes we have a postdoctoral fellowship at the rice university postdoctoral fellowship at Emory University, postdoctoral fellowship at the University of Pittsburgh. In fact, postdoctoral fellowship at the Rice University, when they advertised this year, they got only two applicants. They offered to the position on one, but that applicant already took the position somewhere else. And now 
uh, that position is going to remain vacant for one year. So uh, if we know people who have an interest, we can let them know that, look at, here is a position, please apply for it. So we will do that. And we just need a more collaboration from India and here and various organization. Okay. It's just networking. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I believe yeah. Bhupen Bhai has a question. Bhupen Bhai, you yes, want to yes. unmute and ask a question? Yes, Bhupen Bhai, you can unmute. Thank you, Jasu Bhai. Uh, obviously, I know Jasu Bhai personally for many years. So uh, I know a lot of his activities. He is not only within the Jain world, but he's also equally active in outside the Jain world. And uh, one comment uh, and suggestion I, I have been discussing with David Deswanba is uh, we as Jain community has a way of life that can be captured beyond veganism. And there is a movement here started by IIT uh, graduate uh, named Lalit Kapoor. And there are about 40,000 Indians who follow that movement uh, and have improved their chronic conditions just using the vegan and plant-based diets. And I want to make that part of the Jain way of life. And that is totally based on fact-based research by Lalit Kapoor, who because of his IIT connection is very widely known among the IITians uh, of the world. But I will be able to work with him and bring this to uh, our Jain world through Jesuba and Manuva. So, thank you, Bhuvan Bhai. Uh, Mahendra Bhai has a raised hand. He has a comment to make questions. Yeah, yeah. Mahendra Bhai, you can ask the question. Thank you, thank you. Pranam, Jesuba. Cool. खूब खूब सरस रीते समझा खूब सारी स्पीच आप खूब खूब अभिनंदन समग्र नॉर्थ अमेरिका जैन सेंटर में जेसीएससी में प्रथम विगनिजम विगन बना आप खूब खूब आभार खूब खूब अभिनंदन खूब लोग ने विगन में लई जाइने पंचेन्द्रीय हत्या में इनडायरेक्टली के डायरेक्टली आप बचाया Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Modi ji, for the enlightening talk. Indeed, all of us had a wonderful time listening to you. We hope that this interest continues and go on to influence more deeply the ideas that shape the contemporary world. We are sure that this talk and the ideas presented here would go a long way in shaping the way we perceive veganism and philanthropy. I would also like to thank Meena Choksi ji, without whose cooperation today's session would not have been possible. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Neil, for uh, giving us an opportunity to speak what we are doing it over here. And with our community support, we will make a lot of progress.